Here's what's going to happen today all the way through Friday. A little bit of pattern change. Our winds with a high to the north, a weak low just off the Florida coast will be mainly around this high northeast flow coming right in off the ocean. We're going to see the probably tides running higher than normal over the next couple of days during times of high tide. And also you will notice that there's choppy conditions along the coast. So coastal waters will see quite a bit of this, even some showers. But look at these highs, 78 to 80 degrees. Today is the first full day of fall and it's going to feel like it all the way through the afternoon. Now we're continuing to see these showers popping up. The bulk of the heaviest of the rain is out of the coastal waters with some lightning strikes off to the south and east of Buford and east of Hilton Head. We've been tracking all morning long. Showers moving up through Statesboro, Sylvania, seeing a little bit of light to moderate rain. Zooming in in parts of Chatham County, we're seeing this rain move up just south of downtown. So do expect probably some on and off showers as we go throughout the morning with some heavier downpours, even for inland areas. You can see it from Statesboro. Also places like Register been reporting light to moderate rain up through Sylvania. But one thing to notice that bright red and yellow has been decreasing over about the last 15 to 30 minutes. So that trend will probably continue, but we're going to continue seeing scattered showers. Watch the future radar. 9 o'clock this morning, still showing a, a large area, seeing some light to moderate rain. Once we go into lunchtime, the chance for rain will decrease throughout the afternoon. 1 o'clock may even see a few breaks in the clouds line for a little bit of sunshine. But if you live along coastal areas, especially from I-95 to the coast, you'll probably stay mostly cloudy throughout a good part of the day. And even at 5 o'clock this afternoon, after work today, looking fairly dry in most spots, but could not rule out, may see a stray shower possible all the way into the early evening. Now that forecast for today, playing out like this, 67 degrees at 8 o'clock. Best chance of rain, like I showed you on future radar, will be mainly throughout the morning. Once we go into the afternoon, look at that high today, 78 degrees. Of yesterday in Savannah, officially at the airport, was 90. So much cooler temperatures this afternoon, all thanks to clouds and also that northeast winds. And then by 9 o'clock tonight, maybe a shower possible and a temperature of 74. If you're making plans for the upcoming weekend, we'll continue to fine tune this forecast. But right now it's looking like we'll see more clouds and sunshine for both Saturday and Sunday. A few showers around on Saturday afternoon and then on Sunday we'll see those clouds and a temperature of 84 degrees. City by city forecast today. Yesterday, like I said, most spots upper 80s near 90. How about about 10 to 12 degrees cooler this afternoon? Look how those highs only upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Yeah, it'll be really nice today, but unfortunately we'll see lots of clouds and a chance for a shower all the way through the afternoon. Here's that seven day forecast after today continue with those upper 70s for highs on Wednesday near 80 for Thursday and Friday and we'll continue seeing scattered showers for the middle of the week all the way through Friday and there's a look at that weekend forecast once again highs low to mid 80s.